of friends this video on triangles part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam before watching this video please make sure that you have watched part 21 to 22 it has been given that angle odc is equal to angle oba and angle boc is equal to 125 degree this angle cdo is equal to 70 degree we have to find doc angle DOC and this angle we have to find DOC that is be X DCO DCO that is Y and OAB OAB that is Z we have to find this don't assume that DC is parallel to AB that is not given the only thing that is given is ODC is similar to OBA now if you see right this angle x do is a straight line since doa is a straight line we can say that x plus 125 degree is equal to 180 degree why because doa is a straight line 180 degree angle straight line or we'll get x is equal to 180 degree minus 25 degree that is 55 degree so one issue is solved x is 55 degree now since x is 55 degree we can find by some of the angles in the triangle is 180 degree so we know that x plus y plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degree why sum of angles of triangle ODC x is we have found 55 degree so y is nothing but 180 degree minus 70 degree minus x that is 55 degree all right so if you solve this this comes out to be 55 degree only so y is also 55 degree so we have x we have y and we have d also now we are told that angle ODC is similar to angle OBA if you see it is like this ODC is similar to angle OBA correct this angle is 70 degree and sorry this angle is x 55 degree angle O is 55 degree here is 55 degree D is 70 degree and C is Y, Y is 55 degree. Now since these angles are similar, this will also be 55, this will be 70 and this will be 55. Now we have to find angle OAB, sorry OAB, OAB, we have to find this angle, this is Z, right? So this angle will be equal to 55 degree, why? Because these two triangles are similar. So we will say that Z is equal to 55 degree why triangle ODC is similar to triangle OBA so we have x is equal to 55 y is equal to 55 and z is equal to 55 all 55 degree that's my answer very simple we have found x and y and then we have used this uh, fact that Triangle ODC is similar to OBA. So we do exactly same ODC OBA. When you draw exactly same, you can just compare C is equal to A. Please note here if I draw like this, OBA, if I draw like this, OBA and ODC like this, right? Here they are not similar actually. Why? Because C is not equal to B. We have to write in the exact same pattern. If it is ODC, ODC, I'm taking the Clock anti clockwise direction. Similarly, OBA also I have taken the anti clockwise. Here I have taken in this direction, so this is not correct. This is correct. ODC, OBA. Correct. Let's take some more example. We have to find angle P in this case. First, we have to see whether they are similar or not. If you observe this, this is 3 root 3. This is 6 root 3, right? This is 
टू टाइम्स ऑफ स्टील करेक्ट दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट एट दिस इज टू टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट एट दिस इज सिक्स दिस इज टू टाइम्स ऑफ सिक्स दैट मीन्स आई कैन से दैट ए सी एंड पी आर दे आर प्रोपोर्शनल Similarly, AB and RQ are proportional, and BC that is six, and PQ are proportional. So, if I want to prove that they are similar, I have to draw in this fashion. If I take AB here, AB that is three point eight, I have to take side which is seven point six. Proportional side. So, seven point six. If I take side, this is either RQ or QR, right? Two options I can say. Either RQ or QR. This is the best way to find the exact similar triangle. You can take RQ or QR. Now this side is C by default, obviously. If you have taken ABC, this side is C. So this BC is six, and this is three root three. If I assume this is my correct option, this is RQ. This will be P. Here also this will be P. So PQ here is how much? PQ here is twelve, and RP here is seven point six. In this case, RP here is seven point six, and PQ here is twelve. Correct. If I take this is the correct triangle, then if I see this is three point eight, seven point six twice, three root three, and this is so this is RP. Sorry, I'm not done correctly. This RQ actually, right? RQ. G of R Q here. This R Q speed R P. R P here is not seven point six. R P is two six root three actually. R P is six root three. You see R P R P is six root three. R P six root three. Now if you compare, if you assume this is correct, this is three point eight. This is seven point six. Three point eight by seven point six. If you say Three point eight by seven point six. If you this is equal to if you see if you take AC by RP, it is three root three by six root three. This is also equal to BC by QP. It is six by two. And both are equal to one by all are equal to one by two. So this is correct. If you take this triangle, then we get three point eight by seven point six. That is AB by QR. And this AC by QP is equal to three root three by twelve, and BC by RP will be six by six root three. And we see all are not equal, so this is not our triangle. Our triangle is this only, correct? So we have found the exact triangle. I mean, if you see to find the exact similar triangle, you can rotate this or take a mirror image. That is one option, or you can do this way also, where you have this AB, you take the RP. Which side you feel are comparable, and then you find the other two sides. So here you get only two possibility out of two possibility you can get one possibility. So this is the exact triangle. So I can say that angle triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQ. Sorry, RQP ABC RQP because A is similar to R, B is similar to Q, and C is similar to Now this is AT. We have to find angle P. So this angle P will be equal to angle C. Directly we can see here, right? See, I can't say P is equal to angle B here. Now when I found the exact orientation of this triangle, exact where it is similar, here also you can see angle P is equal to angle C. Here also angle P is equal to angle C. So we have to find angle. To find angle P, we have to find angle C. So in this case, if you see angle C is what? This is AT. This is sixty, one forty. This is one point. This is forty because the sum of the angle is one eighty. I can say that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to one eighty degree, or angle C is equal to one eighty degree minus angle A angle B. One eighty degree minus angle A angle A is eighty degree minus angle B is sixty degree. So this becomes forty degree. So C came out to be forty degree. So C is forty. P is also forty degree. So angle P is equal to forty degree is my. Answer. Let's take one more example. 
A girl of height 90 cm is walking away from the base of a lamp post at the speed of 1.2 m per second. If the lamp is 3.6 m above the ground, we have to find the length of her shadow after 4 seconds. So let's draw this lamp post. This is the girl. She is walking at the speed of 1.2 m per second. She is walking in this direction. And this lamp post is 90 cm. Sorry, the girl of height of the girl is 90 cm and this is 3.6 meter. After 4 seconds, the distance traveled by this girl will be this much. That is, distance is equal to speed into time. Speed is equal to 1.2 meter per second. Time is 4. That is 4.8 meter. This distance will be 4.8 meter. Correct. Now let's draw a triangle. You see, you can draw a triangle because the question is the length of a shadow from here to here what will be her shadow length. So let's join these lines and let's draw a triangle. Since this is a straight, I made this a straight line. This is a more straight line. Now I'll join this line from here that joins from the top of the tower to the head of this girl. So I get this line. And the height of this girl is 90 centimeter that is 0.9 meter. This is 0.9 meter. This is 3.6 meter. This is 4.8. And let's suppose this is x. This is x. 4.8 is from here to here. We have to find x. Shadow of the, we have to find this length because the question says what is the length of a shadow after 4 seconds? So if there is a light from here, if the light is falling from here, the shadow will be from here to here. This point to this point. Let's name this value actually. This is A, B, C, D, A. So shadow is nothing but EC. Shadow is nothing but length of EC. Now, if you see, what we'll do, you'll use the similarity of the triangle concept. DE is parallel to AB because both are on the same line, both are horizontal. So angle A is equal to angle D. Correct. Similarly, angle B will be equal to angle E. Both are 90 degree actually. And C is common angle. So if you see in triangle, I'll take make this triangle. C is will take C common. C A B and instead of A, I have D here. And B is equal to E here. So in triangle C, A, B and C, D, E, we have seen that angle C is equal to angle C, angle B is equal to angle B, E and angle D is equal to angle A. So both the triangles are similar. So I can say that triangle C, A, B is similar to triangle C, D, E. Now in this triangle C, E, D, C, E, D, D, E is 0.9, C is X. Right? CB is nothing but 4.8 plus X and AB is and AB is 3.6. You write it in this fashion and now we have to find the value of X. Since both the triangles are similar, I can say that CE by CB is equal to ED by BA. Correct? Or X by 4.8 plus X is equal to 0.9 by 3.6. Let's solve this. I'll get x by 4.8 plus x is equal to 0.9 by 3.6 is 1 by 4. Or I get 4x is equal to 4.8 plus x. Or I get x is equal to 4.8 by 3. That is 1.6. So the length of the shadow is 1.6 meter. And that is my answer. What I have done here, I have done drawn this triangle and then I have used the similarity concept to find the value of x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.